addition of polynomials. In adding polynomials, you just have to combine their like terms, then write your answer in standard form. When we say standard form, you have to start with the term with highest degree, then after that, the second highest degree, the third highest degree, and so on. Or in short, the exponent must be in decreasing order until you reach the constant term. So now let us have the first example. We have negative 6x squared plus 2x minus 5 plus 8x squared minus 9x plus 1. In adding these two polynomials, it is just the same with removing their parentheses since this is addition. It is a different case for subtraction. Now we may proceed in combining like terms. So when we say like terms, those are the terms with the same variable. For example, negative 6x squared can be combined with positive 8x squared since they both have the variable x squared. So let us combine them, negative 6x squared plus 8x squared. Then aside from that, we have here 2x. We can combine this with negative 9x because both of them have the variable x. So positive 2x and negative 9x. Then we still have a term here negative 5, and this one is a constant term. Therefore, we may combine this to another constant term. And we have here positive 1. So negative 5 will be combined with positive 1. Let us now add them. Let us now add them. To proceed, you have to remember the rules in adding integers. That if they have the same sign, you have to add and copy the sign. But if they have different sign, you have to subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. So in the first set of terms here, we have negative 6 and positive 8. They have different sign, therefore you have to subtract them, then copy the sign of the larger number. And we have positive for the larger number, therefore your answer will be positive. So let us subtract. 8 minus 6 will have positive 2. And then you just have to copy the variable x squared. Then, let us proceed with the second set of terms, 2x minus 9x. Again, they have different signs, so subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. 9 is larger, therefore your answer must be negative. So 9 minus 2 will have 7, therefore it will become negative 7, and copy the variable x. Next. For the constant terms, we have negative 5 and positive 1, different sign again. Therefore, you have to subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. So 5 minus 1 will give us 4 and it will become negative. Then after that, arrange it in standard form. But as you can see, they are already arranged in standard form. Therefore, that will be the answer. 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. Aside from this method, we can actually use adding them vertically. So to add them vertically, just copy the first polynomial. So we have negative 6x squared plus 2x minus 5. And then in writing the second polynomial, you have to align each term here with their like terms. So it means 8x squared must be written under 6x squared because both of them have the variable x squared. So we'll have positive 8x squared below 6x squared. Then, negative 9x must be written under 2x since both of them have the variable x. Same with the constant. So positive 1 must be written under negative 5. Then you may proceed with adding them. You must always remember that like terms must be aligned before you proceed in addition. Now, when you add, you can actually start from the left or from the right. It doesn't matter. You will still get the same answer. For example, I want to start here. Let us combine negative 6 and positive 8. So negative 6 plus 8 will give us 2 and copy the variable x squared. Then the next one, positive 2 minus 9, it will give us negative 7, copy variable x. So we have negative 7x. And for the constant term, we have negative 5 plus 1, you will get negative 4. So we obtain the same answer with this one. 
whichever method is easier for you, you can use either of these two and it will give you the same answer. Another example, negative 3x squared plus 5x plus 7 plus x squared minus 10. Again, if you will remove their parentheses, we can do that like this and then combine like terms. So let us start with the highest exponents always so that our answer will automatically be arranged in standard form. So let's start with the variable x squared. We have here negative 3x squared and it can be combined with positive x squared here. So combine these two, we may add them directly. Since they have different sign, it means we have to subtract. Negative 3x squared plus x squared, variable like this has always 1 as their numerical coefficient, though 1 is not visible. So therefore, we are subtracting 3 and 1. So the answer will be negative 2x squared. Why it's negative? We copy the sign from the larger number, which is from 3. That's why we got negative 2x squared. Then, aside from that, we have here 5x. Let us look for a term with variable x. As you can see, there is no other term with the variable x. Therefore, we just have to bring down 5x. Then, for constant term, positive 7 and negative 10. Again, different sign. So, subtract them and copy the sign from the larger number. And that's negative 10. So, your answer will be negative. 10 minus 7 will give us 3 or negative 3. So the answer is negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Again, you may add that vertically, copy the first polynomial, and for the second polynomial, you have to write each term or you have to align each term with their like term. So x squared must be aligned with negative 3x squared because both of them has a variable x squared. So negative 3x squared will have x squared below it. And then for negative 10, negative 10 is constant. We may write that under positive 7. So now let us combine them. Negative 3x squared plus x squared, it will give us negative 2x squared. Then for 5x, actually, you may just bring down 5x. Then positive 7 and negative 10. Positive 7 plus negative 10, it will give us, yes, that's negative 3. So this answer is the same with our answer here. Okay, another example. Let us remove their parentheses and combine like terms. Look for a term with the highest exponent, so we can start with that. Highest exponent we can see here is 4. So let's start with x raised to 4. Combine like terms, negative 4 x raised to 4 can be combined with positive 10 x raised to 4, since both of them have the variable x raised to 4. Negative 4 plus 10 will give us positive 6x raised to 4. Then after that, we have here x cubed. Negative 11x cubed can be combined with negative 7x cubed. So let's combine this two. Negative 11 plus negative 7, you will have negative 18x cubed. Both of them are negative. That's why we add the number and we copied the sign. Then we have here 6x squared, is there any term with a variable x squared? None. So this positive 6x squared, we may just copy that. Then after that, we have variable x. We can combine negative x with positive 3x. So negative x plus positive 3x, you will have 2x. Because this x has the numerical coefficient of 1. So we are subtracting 3 and 1. That's why we got 2. And we copied the sign of the larger number. Then for constant, we have positive 1 and negative 6. Combine them, you will get negative 5. So your answer is 6x raised to 4 minus 18x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 5. Same with adding them vertically. Copy the first polynomial and make sure to align each term from the second polynomial to their like terms. So let's start with 3x. So to add them, 
you have to write this or you have to align this with its like term. So, 3x must be under negative x. Negative 6 must be below positive 1. Positive 10 x raised to 4 must be written below negative 4 x raised to 4. And negative 7 x cubed must be written below negative 11 x cubed. Okay. So, now we may proceed in adding them. Let us combine first negative 4 and 10. You will get positive 6 and copy x raised to 4. Then, negative 11 plus negative 7, both of them are negative. That's why you have to add and we'll get negative 18. Copy x cubed. Then, for positive 6x squared, since it is alone, you may bring down positive 6x squared. Then, negative x plus 3x, you will have positive 2x. And for positive 1 plus negative 6, you will get negative 5. So the answer is the same with this one. That's how you add polynomial. Now let us proceed with subtraction of polynomials. To subtract polynomial is to add its inverse. So you have to switch the signs of the polynomial being subtracted or the subtrahend. Let us see in this example, the original problem is like this. 5x squared minus 9x plus 11 minus negative 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Before you proceed in solving them, this second polynomial or the subtrahend must be multiplied with the negative sign here or the minus sign. So it's like the sign will just be the inverse. This negative 2 became positive 2. This one. And then positive 3 became negative 3. And negative 2 here became positive. So all the signs of the second polynomial or the subtrahend changed to its inverse because when we multiply negative to another negative you will get a positive answer negative times positive you will get a negative answer and negative times negative you will have a positive answer so you have to rewrite the problem first before you proceed in adding them that's how we subtract polynomial let us have an example for example, we have 4x plus 6 minus 2x minus 7. So the subtrahend here is 2x minus 7. Before we solve, let us rewrite this problem first. Copy the first polynomial, 4x minus 6. And then multiply this minus sign or negative sign to each term inside this parenthesis. So negative, negative times positive, you will have negative 2x and then negative times negative 7 you will have positive 7 or in short just change the sign of each term inside this parenthesis so the positive 2x became negative negative 7 became positive then proceed with combining like terms 4x here can be combined with negative 2x since both of them have a variable x 4x plus negative 2x, you will have positive 2x. And then, positive 6 can be combined with positive 7. You will have positive 13. So that's it. That will be the answer. In solving them vertically, you will do the same process. Copy the first polynomial for x plus 6. Then before you proceed, you have to change the sign of each term inside this parenthesis. So positive 2x will become negative 2x and negative 7 will become positive 7. Then proceed in adding them. Combine positive 4x and negative 2x, you will have 2x. And then positive 6 and positive 7, you will have positive 13. So the same answer with this one. Let us now proceed with the second example. So we have negative 2 plus x squared plus 2x cubed minus 3x minus 7x squared plus 3x minus 5 minus 6x cubed. So the first step. 
copy the first polynomial. So we have this polynomial. And then you have to change the sign of each term inside this parenthesis or change the sign of the subtrahend. So let us start with 7x squared. 7x squared is positive. It will become negative 7x squared. Positive 3x will become negative 3x. Negative 5 will become positive 5. And negative 6x cubed will become positive 6x cubed. Now we may proceed in combining like terms. And please take note that when you combine like terms, we will start with the term with the highest exponent because we have to write our answer in standard form. So we'll start with the highest exponent. Highest exponent here is 3. So 2x cubed and 6x cubed can be combined with each other. They are both positive, so that will be 6 plus 2 will have 8 and copy x cubed. Then, after x cubed, we have here x squared. We can combine positive x squared with negative 7x squared and you will have negative 6x squared. Then, for the term with a variable f, we have here negative 3x and another negative 3x here. We may combine this two. Both are negative, so you have to add the number and copy the sign. 3 plus 3 will give us 6 and copy the negative sign. So we have negative 6x. And for the constant terms, we have negative 2 and positive 5. Combine this two, you will have positive 3. Since they have different sign, we subtracted them and copy the sign of the larger number. So this one is the answer. Again, this is similar in adding them vertically. Before you start subtracting them, you have to arrange this first in standard form. So let us start with the first polynomial and copy first the term with the highest exponent. So we have here positive 2x cubed, so positive 2x cubed. And then after that, we have here positive x squared. We may write positive x squared. Then after that, negative 3x, negative 3x here, and negative 2. Then align the second polynomial. But please take note, you have to change the sign while you are copying it. So let's start with 7x squared. 7x squared, positive, it will become negative, And you will write that under x squared because they have the same variable. Then after that, we have positive 3 here. Change the sign. It will become negative 3x and write it under negative 3x. Then constant term, negative 5 will become positive 5. Write it under negative 2. While the last term here, negative 6x cubed. So x cubed, it means it must be under 2x cubed. It's negative, so therefore you will, you will change it into positive. Then combine. You may start from left or from right. doesn't matter. So let's add first this side. 2 plus 6, you will have 8. Copy x cubed. Then positive x plus negative 7. So they have different sign. You have to subtract. And you will get negative 6x squared. Because x squared has the coefficient of 1 that we do not see. And then negative 3x plus negative 3x. Both of them are negative. You have to add them. So you will have negative 6x. And negative 2 plus 5, different sign. So you have to subtract. You'll get positive 3. So the answer is similar to this one.